When I came to town and I was in Printer's Alley, uh, I was strung out on whiskey and the pot, coke, and I was working in Printer's Alley stoned all the time. And I went to him and he said, Lee, if you don't quit smoking, like now, uh, you won't live to be uh, 50 years old. Oh, the bad know the good go to heaven, and the good know the bad go to hell. But there is a good side and a bad side of me, and they both got a story to tell. My name is Lee Rascone Sr., and I've been hosting Writer's Nights for 25 years. Before that, I was a bass player on the road for major artists. But now I host songwriters and I love because they're, they're the thing in Nashville, songwriters. He made it a great environment to meet those people in. He, he knew how to make you shine, you know, he knew how to make everybody laugh, he knew how to set you up. <laughs> he could definitely set you up. Nashville is here, you better be in for the long haul. Because we didn't come here just to write them, we came here to get them cut. I had a song that I wrote with Dean Dillon, it was a George Strait, number one. Almost every night will be hit writers come in and singing the songs that, that people know. Songwriting is not about making money, it's about saving souls. I opened shows for 12 years for Conway Twitty. There's a lot of songwriters that I've hosted that, that have become legends. It's, they're legends now, you know. There's going to be, there's going to be writers who come to town and have monster hits. And there's going to be, and leave the next week, and there's going to be people here 30, 40 years and never have the big one. But it still doesn't make them any less of a writer. This song's called The One. The Lord gave me a family, and I, I have to take care of them. I had, to, I had to get it together. I think, I think he's providing a really, really valuable thing for yeah. the writers, a place to play. You got to do an outpost? Yeah, one more. The good know the bad go to hell.